Hi, my name is Sam Chand. I am a leadership consultant located in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, you can get all of my propaganda at samchand.com. That is S A M C H A N D dot com. I have the great honor and privilege of traveling the globe talking to high impact leaders almost on a daily basis. As a leadership consultant, I meet with some of the world's best leaders. And I have asked myself the same question over and over again. So what's the difference? What's the major difference between a mega church leader and an average size church leader? Yes, I'm talking numerically right now, but what is the one foundational difference? And I have concluded that it is not style of preaching, style of worship. In most cases, it's not even location. It's not about the money that you have or don't have because that comes with numerical growth. I have concluded that the greatest differentiating factor between a mega church and uh, a church that is still in going through growth challenges is one thing. And that one thing is your pain threshold. Your pain threshold is uh, that area of your life which allows you to grow, stagnate, or even uh, regress. And here's the principle. You will only grow to the threshold of your pain. The more pain you can handle, the more you will grow. So when I work with high-impact leaders, I find their lives to be immensely painful, immensely painful, crucial pain and critical pain, trauma in their life. But they have learned how to not just cope with it, but how to uh, uh, overcome it and even help others overcome the same thing. Let me give you a few examples. I was born and raised in a pastor's home in India, and so I've been in church and ministry all my life. I used to pastor a church myself, and then I was a, a Bible University president here in Atlanta, Georgia. And I have come to a conclusion that about 10% of our churches, 10% of our churches are there just to help our prayer life. <laughs> they are the ones who keep us uh, tormented with prayer, uh, with issues in their life, who uh, are the whiners, complainers, naysayers, you know who I'm talking about, the 10% who will bring you more and more pain in your life. And then, of course, there's the pain of change. Uh, we all know that no growth uh, without change. You cannot change without growth. You cannot grow without change. And there's no change without loss. And there's no loss without pain. So growth equals pain. Uh, in our times, we are looking at economic pain everywhere. It doesn't matter who they are. It doesn't matter what they say to you. Let me just tell you the truth. The truth is we are all being challenged financially. There's staffing pain. Uh, you know, who to retain, who to release, who to reassign. Those are not once-in-a-while pains. Those are constant, ongoing pains that we have to work through. Uh, there's uh, relational pain. Relational pain is... Uh, uh, which relationships to hold on? What are the new relationships the Lord is bringing into our lives? Who uh, are the relationships that brought us to this point but can't take us any further? Who are the ones who at one time used to add value to us, but now not only do they not add value to us, but they're detracting value with us because our life journeys have become that divergent. Uh, there's uh, the whole pain of being the CEO of a huge corporation. You're never off. Now, yes, I know you might be on vacation, you might be on a Mediterranean cruise, you might be going off on uh, uh, different areas of your life, but let me just tell you, you're never off. It's always on your mind. Uh, you may shut your Blackberry off, but it's always on your mind. You're never off. How about the pressure of making the right decisions all the time? You, you don't have the luxury of experimenting. <laughs> You've got to make the right decision every time. So if it works, great. It works. If it's not then it's a major loss as well. So I would encourage you to view pain as a teacher. Uh, don't drug the, the pain. Uh, don't hope for it to go away. Uh, do not let leadership leprosy set in. You know, leprosy is a, is a disease in my country of India uh, that, uh, that is a, really a nervous, uh, your nerve uh, situated disease that kills the nerve endings and pain uh, becomes something that you cannot deal with anymore or you become numb to the pain. As soon as you become numb to the pain, you stop growing. So let me give you a few uh, ways to think about how to grow your pain threshold. Number one, you've got to be become reflective. 
in our busy, busy lives, we're moving forward, we are aggressively pursuing things, and I'm here to encourage you to become a reflector. Reflect on your pain. What lesson did you just learn from it? That is what I'd like for you to do. Number two, hang with people who have high pain in their life and learn from them. Ask them questions about how did you overcome this pain. Assume, and you'll be right 100% of the time, assume that any high-impact leader you're talking with has a pain-filled life. I also want to, number three, encourage you to take care of yourself. Uh, make sure that you are healthy on the inside, that you don't become dysfunctional. Listen, you can be around dysfunctional people all day long and not become dysfunctional yourself. <laughs> so be careful about assuming other people's dysfunctions into your own life. And therefore, you've got to know your internal temperature. You've got to know when you're having a good day, a bad day, a good week, a bad week, and uh, govern yourself accordingly. You cannot assume that every day is a 100% day. Days that you are not at your optimal, any day under 70%, you need to defer major decisions on that day because let your, don't let your pain make long-term decisions for you. Next, listen to your spouse. God has given you your spouse, your husband, your wife in a manner that they are there to help you. And lastly, be careful. Don't ask God to enlarge your pain threshold. Because you know, He might just answer that prayer. And you know, the only way to grow your pain threshold is more pain. Please know, pain is your friend. Learn, grow, know that even our own Savior had to increase His pain threshold. That was what the Garden of Gethsemane was all about. Let me encourage you. You hurting? That's not all bad. Because only those who learn from their pain grow to the next level. You will only grow to the threshold of your pain.